when somebody sick, call on the elder of the church. I don't know why every time somebody gets sick, they run out of church. Run out of the church. And you don't run out of church, you come to church. So you can get prayed by the elders in the church. Amen. That's what the word of God tells me, you know. Amen. You gotta pray for them, you know. People calling me all day to day so I'm sick, I can't come to church. Church is the hospital. That's right. Yes, we all is. here sick. I'm sick. We all got something wrong with us. I got something wrong That's why we come to church so God can take things. Amen. Hallelujah. So we all got problems. If we were all perfect, we wouldn't need Jesus. So we're not perfect, we need the Lord God. Amen. I thank God for the families coming in here, and that's a blessing. You know, when I got saved, hallelujah, when I got saved and victory outreach, my whole family came, you know, hallelujah. And I was just sitting there and crying when I see my granddaughter praising the Lord, and they were so beautiful, you know, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. family coming in, that's a blessing, you know. A lot of people don't understand, you just hold on. Hold on and you will see your family coming in. Just hold on. Hold on. He said the Bible said, and the Bible said that when a prayer family pray together, they stay together. Hallelujah. He said once one person be saved in the household, the whole household will be saved. We got to believe. Hallelujah. We got to believe. That our family got couples coming in. No matter what they look like, no matter how they tore up, Jesus can only turn it around. Amen, amen, amen. That's, That's right. why we can't talk about our family members. We just got to pray. We got to stand in the, in the gap for our family. Amen, we amen, amen. We got to in the gap. That's I know right. my little brother, he used to follow me out there in games and stuff, and I got out of the prison, and he had a blue rag tied around his head, and praise, and I said, oh my God, there you go, follow me in there. So when I came into the victory, I always came into the home, and guess what I see? My little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We got to stand for our family. You know, no matter what we go through, no matter how they talk about it, we got to stand. We got to stand in the gap for our family because one day they will be coming through the door. And one day they will be knocking on your door. Let's go. My God, my God. God is so awesome. He's so beautiful. I just thank them every day. I'm hearing testimony after testimony how my whole family got saved and my brother coming in and that's a blessing seeing the family being saved. But you got to keep on standing. Because if you it. fall out, they'll fall out. That's right. Amen. Because that's what happened to me. I fell out and my half of my family fell out. But when I came back to the Lord, they came back. See, sometimes we the key, we the key to bringing our family in. My God. <laughs> and the Bible said in Romans 8, 1, there is therefore no confirmation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. My God, Lord, I'm calling to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, my God. Father, let your word come out of me, my Father. Let you speak, Lord. Father, we thank you for everything that you're doing in our life, Lord. We thank you for standing through our all trials, Lord, and tribulation, Lord. Lord, we thank you for shaping and molding us, guiding us in a powerful way, God. Lord, we thank you for your word, God. Your word is so beautiful. It is so awesome, Lord. Lord, you are the living God. The Bible said that anybody loves the world is the enemy of God. Yes, yes. We can't love this world. We just pass it through. Yes, sir. That's we right. pass it through to go home. Yes, sir. That's why when I go to people's house and they go off on me, I say, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get you home. Amen, amen, amen. I'm just trying to get you home. My God, home is heaven. That's why he said, let not your heart be troubled. I'm going to pay a place for you at the Father's house. There will be many matches. I'm going to leave you my comfort. See, the Jesus is inside of us. My God, the Holy Spirit. 
See, God is calling us in a powerful way so we can bring all the people in and share love. He says, Brother Kindness, have my drawn you out. Amen, amen. And we can't talk about nobody. We can't judge nobody. We can't put nobody down. Nobody. Change that's right, that's right, that's right. You can't change nobody around. Only you can turn them around. Amen. See, that's why we got to walk with them in and shut love with them and hold them. See, we need some people at the door to greet people when they come in with a beautiful smile. And let them know that you are here at a place that takes place to place. My God, my God. See, in the Bible said, and in Romans 8, I read it already, there is for now no confirmation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. See, we can't walk after the flesh. We got to walk in the Spirit. See, when we get into the Spirit of God, we'll see what's going on inside the church. But we, according to mine, can't know nothing about what's going on in the church. We got to get in the Spirit of God. And the only way you can get in the Spirit of God, you got to pray. Amen, that's right. That's you got to pray. You got to come closer to God. You got to get into your secret place. Amen. My God, my God. Because Bishop and the pastor and everybody can't get you to heaven. Only one person can get you to heaven. <laughs> you you. Oh, my God, my God. God is awesome. And he came down just for us. He came down on the cross and he died just for us. Because we weren't welcome in the temple of God. We was called Gentiles. We weren't welcome in the temple of God. But when Jesus died on the cross for me and you, my God, now we are welcome to come into the temple. Amen, amen, amen. My Thank God, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, that's why God is so awesome. He's so beautiful. See, we got to get up in the morning and just thank him before we even do anything, before we even brush our teeth, roll up out of the bed. We got to say, Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, God will bring you through everything. Hallelujah. But you got to want to change. Yeah, right. change you if you don't want to change. That's right. That's right. And God give us our own will. You got to want to change. See, if you take that one step, God takes two steps. Amen. Amen. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. See, the spirit of the living God, he is so beautiful. He's awesome. Every time I go, a lot of people say, I like the rain. I love the rain. Because rain washes down everything. It washes down the trees. It washes down the grass. 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 It washes and he made us so beautiful. He so beautiful, my God. He died as a living up God. He's not a ten pound God. Woman of God, woman of God, please. Woman of God, please don't go out. God wants to speak to you. Hallelujah. God is moving in a powerful way. I tell people all the time, God is moving in a powerful way. This year, you're going to see life change, and you're going to see Mary come, and all this stuff, because God is moving. It's going to be a, a big shift. All the wickedness and all that money, God has been a bless us in a powerful way. You know, yeah, thank you, we're going to be, 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 be leaders instead of born. We're going to be so blessed. We're going to bless other people. That's what I ask God all the time. God, Lord. bless me so I can bless somebody. Else. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. People tell me, well, Bishop, when I get my money, I'm going to pay my tie. I say, hey, it's a little hard. I say, you ain't Lord, paying yes, no tie in there. I ain't mean no harm in that. I'm sorry for amen. saying that. But it's the truth. If you ain't faithful paying God with a little bit, uh -huh. how you gonna be faithful paying God with a, a lot of money? You got a lot of it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. With a lot of it. See, it's not about money. Mm -mm. 
We ought to tell y'all to pay y'all tithes and offerings so you can be blessed. That's right, that's right. So the Bible said he'll open up the windows of heaven. Open them up. And pull you out of blessings. Yeah. Pour out of Look blessings. around. Any more windows and doors? More windows yep. and doors. And he said he'll open up the windows. My God, my God. To for the law of the, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. My God made us free. When Jesus came, he made us free from sin. See, when he came down and showed us the way to go, see, God couldn't come down because he would have blew his whole place up. So he came down in a body to show us the way to go. He went up to the mountain and prayed. That's what he want us to do. He want us to pray. He wants to show love. That's what he wants us to do. Share love with the amen, people amen. and heal the sick. That's what he wants us to do. Heal the sick. He heals the blind. He wants us to heal the blind. That's why he came down to show us the way to go. Hallelujah. Go to God. Amen. God is so good, man. He's so beautiful. Hallelujah. He created heaven and earth. He created everything. And guess what? He created the devil and shot him down like light. Yes, he did. Because you know why he shot him down like? Because he got pride. That's he right. got pride and thought he could just do everything on his own. See, that's why we got to walk in humbleness. We got to walk low with God. We got to walk letting, your, letting yourself know that you can't do it. Only God can do it. That's right. That's, that's why right. he said in 2 Corinthians 5, no, that's why he said Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding and knowledge him and he will guide your path. That's right. See, we got to acknowledge God. See, we acknowledge God. God will guide us. He'll guide us the right way. See, people can't guide you the right way. Mm -mm. People will leave you all the time. Yes, they will. But Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He'll never leave you. See, we, a lot of us leave God because a lot of times we don't get what we want in life. We leave God. But see, God is trying to build you up. That's why he don't give you the thing that he knows that it's going to hurt you. Just like your little kids and everything. You're not going to give your little kids something that's going to hurt them. So you're going to watch out for their soul. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is moving in a powerful way. He said, when you feel lonely, cast all your cares unto him. That's First Peter 5, 7. He said, cast all your cares unto him, for he cares for you. See, God cares for you. Sometimes he gets us in a stage of loneliness. He gets us at a stage that you think nobody will help you, and nobody will come in and help you. Because you know why? Because he wants all the glory. He don't want no man getting the glory. He don't want no woman getting the glory. You be wondering, why is people not helping me? Because God gets all the glory. Sometimes he takes us through loneliness and everything, but he said, cast all your cares unto him and believe. Stop trying to snatch it back down. See, some of us be trying to snatch the care. Lord, you said in your word. Cast all my cares to you. And then the next day, you grab me that back down. Mm, 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 trying to run with it right. yourself. See, right. Bishop hey. ain't got it. Bishop need Jesus. I ain't got to do that, but I need Jesus. We all need Jesus. That's right, that's right. We all need Jesus. We thank God that he's here. That's why we be up here praising him. That's why we be up here glorifying him. That's why we be up here praising him on Christ. Sometimes. Amen, amen. Because he said when the praise is the one, that's right. You do get up here and 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 you do get up here
kid. Look at my little kid. They praise me. They praise me. He loves the praise. He loves when you praise. He loves when you praise, Dad. He loves when you glorify him. He loves when you magnify him. Even when you go and do something and you still give him the praise. And you say, Lord, I still love you. No matter what I'm going through. Thank you, Jesus. I still love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Joe never cursed God. All the stuff he went through, all the stuff. He lost his house, he lost his wife, he lost all his cattle, he lost everything, but he never cursed God. He still gave God the praise, he still gave God the glory, and that's why he said, I give God the glory and the praise. Out. You ain't got no job, you got to say, Lord, I thank you for my job. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for my baby job. You got to praise him, and you got to write down you got to believe in your life. You got to write down the vision and tell it to God. You got to believe in it, but you got to believe. You got to write down the vision and tell it to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Especially in these last days that we live in, we got to know God is God. Because the devil got his soldiers and they know the word. And they'll come to you and tell you things. And lie to you and this and that and try to get you not down the Lord. You gotta watch out for people, you gotta watch out for things. See if you stay in the spirit of the Lord, God will show you who is right and who is wrong. Amen, yes he will. Yes, but you he will. gotta keep your hand in the Lord's hand. Little kids, keep your land in the hands of the Lord. When, when y'all come to church, I thank God for you kids coming early. I wish I would have came early. I probably would have never went through the stuff I went through. But God chose me for the foundation of the world. He knew what we were going to go through. He had his hands around him. Then he said, it's time for you to come out just like Peter and Paul. Paul was a Christian killer. Paul was riding on the horse. And God knocked him off the horse and drove him into him. And then Paul Jesus. But if you're doing all kinds of stuff in front of them, they're not going to come out because they figure, look at you. Look at you. See, God, He loves us so much. Thank you, Jesus. All He wants us to do is build us up. Because he knows what you've been through in life. He knows how that man treated you bad. He knows how that person did this to you and that. And that's all he's trying to do is step in your life. He's trying to bless your life. He's trying to turn everything around. Yes, he's he trying is. to show you the real love. Yes, sir. That's why he said, whoever loves the world is the enemy of God. See, people in the world, they can think different. 
like my boss. She sit up in the office, playing on Facebook all day long, and get paid way more than us. And we out there busting our butts all day long. That's why God said, "You are the love of the world." Is there any of you? I remember when I was in the neighborhood. He called brother, slinging dope. Got a nice car, money, sharp shoes, and everybody treating him like a king, and he out there killing everybody. Hmm, tragic. He out there killing everybody, selling them dope, big packets of dope, killing off people. And everybody treating him good because he got money in his pocket. Why God said whoever loves the world is the enemy of him because the world is backwards. He come a man, come to a woman and treat her like a king. But she said he's weak. I don't like him, but she wants somebody over here to fuse her life. My God. See, the world is crazy. The world is crazy. That's why Jesus, he died for us. And he loved us so much. That's why we come to church and praise the Lord. We all got sin in us. We all fall short of the glory. We all fall short, but you just get back up. Don't stay in it. Pick up your baton and get back in the race. So what you fail? So what things came at you and you fail? You said the righteous man fell four times. We got to fall. Seven times. We got to fall. Some of us going to backslide. But you got to come back to the Lord. You got to come back. Just like the prodigal son. The prodigal son was in the father's house. But he kept looking out the window, trying to see what's going on in the world. And he went to his father and said, Father, can I have my inheritance so I can go out there to the world? And the father was trying to tell him, no, you in the milk and the honey. Why do you want to go out there to the world? The world is going to beat you down. But no, he didn't believe in the Father, but he had to go test it out for himself. And when he went out there with all his money, he had all kind of homeboy friends and everything. Because you know when you got money, you got all kind of friends. And when his money went away, everybody else went away. But the Father kept looking down the road, looking for his son to come home. Every day, he's looking down the road. Every day, looking for his son to come home. And one day, his son got tired. One day, he was in the war. He was all kind of hard because he lost all his money. He lost everything. So he had to work in the hard for to stay living with food in his stomach. And he said, oh, man, I got to go home. I got to go home. So one day his father was looking down the road, waiting for him to come home. And one day he see his son coming. So he ran and he had the service with him. And they ran and he hugged his son. And his son said, Dad, I love you. See, I don't care what you did. I'm glad you're back home. And hugged him and told the servants to get the best things, to get the best role for him. And his brother came up and he was a servant and asked him, What's going on? He said, Your brother is going to have a big feast. And he went to his father and said, Father, why are you giving him a big feast? I've been in the church all this time mm-hmm. doing this, doing that. He said, son, your brother was lost. Now he's found. So when I'm 
Come on. 